Okay, let's give this its first test. <clears throat> so our panels are currently plugged in outside, over, over yonder. Plugged in here. So currently we're at 99 amp hours. Um, let's flip this up. Inverter is on. Okay. Let's turn the fans on. Fans in. The out, outtake and intake of the air. Okay. So fans are currently pulling uh, 11 watts or 0.8 amps. So these are the two marine grade 110 um, outlets that I installed. These are connected directly to the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, which is here. And they're basically just extension cords. That's the battery charger right there for shore power charging. Still at pulling 11 watts for the fans. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug in my Zero Breeze. This is a Mark One Zero Breeze portable uh, 12 volt 110 AC unit. So I'm gonna plug this into the outlet here. Okay, that's plugged all the way in. This red light indicates that we have power, so we're gonna press and hold this until it turns green. And then press it one more time. We got air, we got cold air. So at startup, I think this peaked at like 124 watts. Right now we're pulling 128 watts, 129. Okay. Oh, by the way, the solar panels, I have two uh, 100 watt uh, solar panels that are currently in parallel. So we're at 12 volts and 200 uh, watts of solar. So currently how this setup is, with the setup the way it is, with this pulling 134 watts, uh, this is gonna give us like, it's adjusting, so probably under 10 hours of straight usage. I would say we're pulling in about I guess we'll see it's very sunny out so I guess we're probably pulling in maybe 100 120 maybe 140 watts of solar so I think this time is gonna I don't think it's gonna should be like floating, but we'll see. We'll see what it adjusts, adjusts to. So basically the purpose I had for building this unit was to have uh, portable power that was a little bit better than um, a Jackery that I, I had purchased. Uh, I kind of got the base model from Harbor Freight. I think it was like the Jackery 240, I think it was. And uh, I had a couple applications I wanted to use on it, and that battery, um, that battery dried up pretty quick. So I decided I wanted to build my own unit. Um, currently, inside I have two 50 amp hour, 12 volt uh, Redodo uh, lithium ion batteries that are tied in um, parallel. 
uh, because of some of the technology um, advances with Redodo, uh, they do offer a 100 amp hour mini lithium ion battery for about maybe 240 bucks. And because of the size of those, I could actually put two of those, actually I could fit three of those in here um, to increase it to the 200 amp hours, possibly 300 amp hours. So I think that's something I'll probably be doing in the future uh, to make this an even stronger uh, system. Uh, I believe the system weighs about 35, maybe 40 pounds. Um, this is a Ryobi uh, tool box. Uh, it is on wheels. And uh, that way it makes it kind of very easy to, to move around. Uh, it's about 35, maybe 40 pounds. So it's a little heavy to kind of pick up and carry, but it is doable. But I do have the wheels there uh, to be able to roll around. Uh, they said these are all terrain wheels, so I guess you can kind of go across like grass or gravel or dirt or something like that pretty reliably. Um, I plan on using this in, with my camping um, uses. I did have a Duracell Power Source 660 um, that came with a 50 amp hour uh, lead acid battery that I changed out for one of the the uh, lithium ion batteries that I have here. I actually put that in a power source, but all of a sudden that whole system just stopped working one day. Can't figure it out. I try to diagnose everything. I check wiring, the terminals, the battery, everything, and not sure what the heck happened. So I'm not going to carry around this paperweight anymore. So I decided to build my own system. Um, because I know what I build is reliable. You see my past videos of my carts that I built, my solar generator cart that has uh, 820 amp hours of battery on it. It's the big old, big old beast. It's something I can't carry, but it's more so for at home, uh, at home systems. So, um, because I have the inverter sitting on top, it's not the easiest thing to pick it up see underneath everything but it's a very elaborate system that i put here you know, here's your battery switch um cut off the battery from the rest of the system and uh, that's the inlet for the solar and my breaker for the solar panels uh, i do have a victron um i believe it's 75 charge controller um, that does have Wi-Fi capability so I did download the, the app so that I can um, you know see the production of the the uh, battery in real time which I think is very very cool um, I do have a battery charger which I'm gonna secure this here I'm actually gonna move these wires on the back side to the back side here this will be secured right here so that if I ever need to charge the battery um, like if I'm somewhere where I have shore power and I could just plug in um, the plug into the wall and get to get um, 120 um, I can do so that way as well it's another way of charging my batteries but it is a triple charger I think it only produces like two amps per hour uh, so this is something that could actually help keep the batteries charged and floating um, when I'm not in heaven in use, but when I'm out somewhere, I do have the solar panels, I do have the cables, I have 15 feet of cable here that attach to my two uh, solar panels that are right there. Um, I will be attaching hinges uh, to those panels um, as well as the handle so I can make them portable. Uh, I will be purchasing a um, I will be purchasing a, um, a carrying case so that I can have a padded uh, carrying case and I can carry my solar panels around. More than likely, I'll just kind of keep them in my vehicle and I'll have the system portable. I'm not going to leave this in my car because I, or my, my truck because I do live in Florida. It is hot as hell here all the damn time. Um, 
so I don't want it to damage any of the equipment um, inside. I've invested too much time and money to, to, to damage any of my equipment. Um, I do have the fan here that I can run to kind of help things get you know circulating so every, all the systems stay cool, but I don't want to leave anything inside of my, my vehicle because it gets like over 150 degrees or something like that, or 130 degrees inside of my vehicle here during the summertime. So um, I guess technically speaking, I could you know put my solar panels out on top of my truck basically run the AC if I really wanted to do, wanted to like while I'm at work or if I'm out somewhere and just kind of help keep my truck cool which in turn would keep this system cool uh, because you know cool air will help push through the fans to keep everything nice and nice and chilly so uh, in addition I do have an accessory panel I have some USB-A and USB-C outlets here. Press this button that's going to turn this panel on right there. That way you can charge with, we got what, five USB-A and we have four USB-C's. And you can actually turn them on, these two on and off individually if you like. Uh, everything is marine grade. Um, and I did put silicone uh, around all these outlets, battery monitor, these ones here, so that way um, the inside does not get any water. I mean, I do have these, these graded uh, covers for the fans. Uh, there is a screen, so no bolts and stuff, and like big chunks of gold and going back to the inside. It does bring in. Uh, it should do a good job of kind of helping keep the green out of the unit. I do have a series of different uh, fuses in there, so if anything does surge, any of the number of uh, fuses will, will activate and shut down the system, so prevent any further damage. Um, I did install two LED lights. These are like uh, license plate lights. So if I'm ever somewhere dark and I need to see something in this area, I have the lights there to light up the area. So just gonna do a series of tests today. Um, I, I've been working on this project for the past, oh boy, two, two weeks, three weeks? Since uh, July 24th, 26th, somewhere in there. I uh, just completed it last night. I had been sick for a while, so I didn't get a chance to kind of work on it uh, full throttle, but I've had opportunities over the past uh, week where I've, I've taken a few hours out each day to, to work on, on the system. I finally finished it last night. Super happy I, I've had the opportunity to get this tested out. So um, stay tuned to see some more tests that I'll run on the system and the capabilities of, of the system I, I built here. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention. So like I said, I have, I have two uh, 50 amp hour, 12.8 volt uh, uh, lithium ion batteries that are wired in parallel currently. So on total it gives me 12.8 volts. Um, at 100 amp hours, so I'm getting on the plus side, close to like about 1300 watts. It's not too bad, not too bad. Like I said, I, I plan in the very, very near future to change out those 250 out amp hour batteries and go with the 100 amp hour, 200 amp hour um, Redodo Mini uh, lithium ion batteries, so that will increase my capacity by. Um, 100 uh, amp hours, so give me a total of 200 amp hours. So, um, hope you like this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and place those in the comments. Uh, also, not to sound cliche, but go ahead and give this video a like and a subscribe. And this is amazing.
Staff Man out. <laughs>